In the all-consuming grief of losing a close friend or family member, the last thing you want to do is think about where their body is taken. Professionalism is assumed. We all expect dignity in death. If your family member died in Auckland, would you be happy with them going to the morgue? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Did they treat those bodies with respect? To me, no. It is the type of admission that will make ordinary New Zealanders sick to their stomach. We expect the bodies of our loved ones to be treated with dignity and respect. But a New Zealand Herald Focus investigation has uncovered serious allegations about what goes on behind closed doors at the Auckland City Mortuary. They include racist comments made about the dead, suicide victims mocked, bodies left naked on the slab, and staff bullied out when they complain. 18 months ago, Mandy and husband Gary couldn't wait to start a new life in New Zealand. Gary took early retirement from the British police and they sold their Liverpool home so Mandy could take up a role as a mortuary technician with the Auckland District Health Board. Now they're moving back to the UK. Mandy, an emotional wreck. It's absolutely devastated me. The isolation that occurred has, has caused me ill harm to the point where I'm really not well right now. I've been diagnosed with complex uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. I wish I'd never have come here, because I'm going back to nothing. We've got no work, we've got nothing. We've lost everything coming here. Mandy came to New Zealand highly qualified. These documents show her former employees in the UK describing her work as excellent, saying she regularly went above and beyond the normal standard of care. But Mandy says from day one, Auckland Hospital mortuary staff made it known she wasn't wanted. I was ostracised, uh, I was isolated. Uh, my work was undermined constantly. I was set up to fail, and this was, say, for my first day, and it went worse and worse each day. New Zealand Herald Focus has obtained statements from several UK technicians brought out to work here by the Auckland District Health Board. They all claim they suffered the same fate as Mandy, alleging they were bullied and harassed simply for being English. I'm the third, apparently the third UK girl that this has happened to. Were ever, words ever said to you about being from the UK, from staff members? Yes. Uh, UK nutter. Uh, I was told that we, I wasn't wanted because I was another UK nutter. So where does this clash of cultures come from? Were the overseas staff members simply not used to the Kiwi way of doing things? Why couldn't they fit in? Well, they say it came down to the treatment of the deceased. They observed practices that would never be condoned overseas and they were vocal about it. What do you think of the standards in New Zealand? The bodies weren't being shampooed, they weren't getting cleansed after post-mortem. And also in the UK, we shroud the bodies so to obviously cover their decency up. They don't here, they just have them in a, the deceased in a wrap which then is uncomfortable when you're letting a body out uh, to a funeral director and we have to open the wraps to check the identification tags and you're not covering someone's decency up and you, you've got some young 17, 18 year old girls there, that should be covered up. So you believe that paper shrouds should be on the bodies at all times? And I believe that every single deceased should be wearing one to cover the decency up. Mm. If it's a relative of mine, I wouldn't want them naked in a fridge with another, with another body. More disturbing are statements by former staff who say they heard demeaning comments about suicide victims, disabled people and deceased known to be homosexual. Two technicians, including Mandy, say they overheard people of colour described as gollywogs. Surely, though, there must be, you know, a lot of humour that goes inside a morgue. It's a black humour, it's part of the job. Yeah, there is, but not to a racist comment. Did you ever see that kind of behaviour in the UK mortuaries you work? Absolutely not. And you found that incredibly disrespectful? Very and uncomfortable. I didn't want to hear it. Did senior staff members know 
about those types of comments? There was senior members of staff in there, not management. But senior members of staff heard those comments? I'm sure. I'm sure they did. And did nothing? No. We've spoken to seven former staff members and all of their stories are the same. Most damning of all is this report written by one of the English technicians and given to the Health Minister and Workplace New Zealand under the Whistleblowers Act. It alleges serious allegations of bullying and bad work practices. We contacted the ADHB for comment. It said all work undertaken by forensic pathology is clinically excellent and it's proud of the respectful and caring way staff carry out their jobs. It also said for legal reasons it cannot comment on unsubstantiated hearsay, but any issues that are brought to its attention are always investigated. And it says it always encourages employees to speak up if they encounter bullying in the workplace. Last week, WorkSafe New Zealand confirmed it was now investigating the whistleblower's report and Mandy's case. It has now demanded the ADHB hand over all files pertaining to their employment. Too little, too late for Mandy and Gary. Oh, we never thought it'd come to this, did we? No, darling. On our way home now. On our way back. Less than a year after arriving in New Zealand, they're packing up and heading home, angry and disillusioned by their time in our country. What do you want to see happen now? A public inquiry, so that people aren't coming over here, giving everything up, to be treated like this on day one in their job. And we're going home now to absolutely nothing. We've got no, we're going back to unemployment, we've got no work. It's absolutely tore our lives apart. I'm really angry at the hospital. I'm really angry at my managers. Then this shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have been put in this position.